This week's business book recommendation is for Indistractable by Nia Iyer. This book is about controlling your attention, what causes distraction and how to deal with it. So what did I learn? Well, a new way to think about distraction. The book talks about distraction as the opposite to traction. Traction being moving towards your goals. Distraction is anything that takes you in the opposite direction. I also learned it goes way beyond turning off notifications or dealing with external triggers, as the book describes. Distraction is also caused by internal triggers. Learning how to manage both of them is how you become indistractable. What did it make me think differently about? Different ways of creating accountability, or pacts as the book calls them. Most of us know saying it out loud to a friend creates commitment, a sense that you will lose face if you don't follow through. This book shares many other options and research to back them up. Effort packs make it harder to do the thing you don't want to do. Price packs adding a financial incentive or disincentive. And the most interesting one, identity packs telling yourself you're a writer so you commit to writing more. What actions did I take? Well, there are a bunch of techniques I've taken on board, mostly focusing on my internal triggers. By understanding we often do things to escape discomfort, I've been more honest with myself, calling out the emotion and figuring out what those discomforts are mean you can attack the problem at its root. Understanding that evolution favours dissatisfaction and that humanity's progress comes from discomfort has helped me become aware of what's causing me to become attracted to distractions. I've also enjoyed the 10 minute rule. If you feel the urge to do something distracting, tell yourself you can do it, but in 10 minutes. I've often forgotten within two and the distraction just goes away. Really helpful for avoiding the snack cupboard too. What has the impact been? Well, largely in mindset. I've read lots of productivity books, so many of the external trigger advice was brilliant, but not necessarily new to me. I've selected from that menu before. But the mindset impact and recognising what I'm running from, so to speak, rather than running towards, has really helped me switch a different trigger and make more traction. An interesting book and a different take on the question, how can I become more productive? A recommended read for anyone interested in making better use of their time, but specifically those looking to understand why, not just how. Have a wonderful day.